friends in more talks today i had a wonderful conversation with colonel arvinder singh arvinder singh upsc topper rimc nda bronze medalist ima bronze medalist dono academies mein he was the academy cadet adjutant the top appointment joint 71 armored regiment as a armored corps opti topped all courses staff college thimaya medal a top of the line officer decided to leave the army and then joined kings 11 punjab and sare 6 saal wahan unhone kaam kiya uske baad now he is ceo of gujarat titans ceo of the i10 league in abu dhabi one of the top names in sports in the country so i enjoyed interacting with him and some great life lessons learned from kal arvinder singh so watch this talk kal arvinder singh from nda to ipl champion dekhna zara kitna maza aayega thank you jai hind So, hi Arvinder, what a pleasure to see you uh, this afternoon. Thank you so much, sir. It's always a pleasure to interact with you. It's been long since we met, but I'm sure very uh, soon we will be able to do that as well. Yeah, yeah. मैं तो तेरे को you are passed out in June 1987, just two years after me, and I was there for your commissioning because one of my uh, unit officers was also commissioned with you. So pro probably from that time I know you were ACA and IMA and ACA and NDA. So you are one of the guys. <laughs> long time, so, sir. Long time uh, back. Arvind, we want to start. We want to. पहले तुम्हारी गुजरात टाइटंस की बात करें या आरआईएमसी की बात करें कहाँ से शुरू करना चाहो? आप बताओ सर, जैसे भी आप करना चाहते हो मेरे को कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है। तो ऐसा करते हैं पहले जरा बताओ कि how did you ये IPL कैसे जीता आपने as CEO of Gujarat Titans? Then I'll take you back to RIMC and bring you back here. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, सर जीतना हारना तो किसी इंडिविजुअल के हाथ में नहीं होता है डेफिनेटली नॉट आई थिंक जो अच्छी चीज यहाँ हुई थी इंटेंट बहुत अच्छा था जब से ये फ्रेंचाइज बनी और जिस तरह से इसका बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर बना और जिस तरह के लोग क्रिकेटिंग संभालने के लिए आए और जिस तरह की टीम बनाई गई वॉट वॉज हार्टनिंग टू सी वॉज अनलाइक मेनी अदर्स Uh, rather than focus on uh, individual big names as such jo bade bade naam uh, jaane jaate hain maane jaate hain cricket mein yahan pe jo thought process tha wo very simple tha ki humne ek team banani hai right aur fir dekhna hai pe us team mein kaun kaun fit ho sakta hai aur aur ek bahut zaruri baat jo main aapke sath share karna karna chahta hu sir is ye ye selection sirf cricket based nahi thi ये इंडिविजुअल की पर्सनालिटी बेस्ड भी थी पे हमारा जिस तरह का हम कल्चर बनाना चाहते हैं अपनी टीम में चाहे वो ऑन द फील्ड ऑफ द फील्ड मैनेजमेंट में और जिस तरह से हम एक फ्रेंचाइज जाने जाएंगे तो वी वर वेरी क्लियर पे व्हाट इज व्हाट आर दोज एथिक्स एंड मॉरल्स एक्सेट्रा यू नो वॉट इज द कैरेक्टर दैट इज गोइंग टू डिफाइन अस एज वी गो अलॉन्ग बिकॉज आपको पता ही है भाई आठ टीमें चौदह साल से थी और फिर हम दो नई टीमें आई तो कंपटीशन ऑब्वियसली कंपैरिजन होना जरूरी था और कंपैरिजन हुआ भी बट लेकिन हमारा थॉट प्रोसेस जब तक हम ऑक्शन टाइम तक पहुंचे बहुत क्लियर था कि हम क्या चाहते हैं uh, बहुत सारे लोगों ने हमें ट्रोल uh, किया उसके बाद में पे ये इनको पता ही नहीं था ये क्या कर रहे थे ऑक्शन में बट आई थिंक वो जैसे बोलते हैं प्रूफ ऑफ द पुडिंग लाइज इन इट्स ईटिंग तो बाय गॉड्स ग्रेस एवरीथिंग वेंट ऑफ वेल इट वॉज Uh, you know nobody can say that we thought that we going to end up winning the uh, IPL championship in the first year itself but ha huh, jis tarah se ye team kheli hai jis tarah se mil jul ke aur aapko ek baat main bataun aapko uh, final wale din na, na hi humne sirf uh, title jeeta IPL ka sath mein ek aur trophy mili thi hame wo thi uh, fair play award yes i remember this ha huh. so you kept that uh, ki yaar fair play karna hai exactly play. so you work hard play hard but play fair play fair or so jis tarah ka atmosphere jis tarah ka mahol jis tarah se from the very beginning and i i will give a lot of credit for this to uh, the gentleman called ashish nehra yeah ashish nehra is associated with you okay yeah, ashish nehra is our head coach so ashish nehra is not your run of the mill kind of coach who you know who goes in a typical process you know meetings discussions etc etc you know one thing about him was very clear he says i'm not here to coach 
I'm here to uh, manage the resources that we have gathered, and my duty is to get the best out of them. So I will not at this level. It's not my duty to tell them how to bowl, how to bat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> But my duty is to ensure that we play for each other and we play for the franchise and the kind of culture that uh, the team uh, is going to imbibe, which is going to be for a longer term perspective and not just season to season related. So, काफी चीजें थी जो यू नो बाय गॉड्स ग्रेस सब कुछ इकट्ठा आया लाइक माइंडेड पीपल केम टुगेदर बाय गॉड्स ग्रेस एंड थिंग्स वर्कड आउट वेरी वेल एंड यस वी बिकेम चैंपियंस नहीं आई सॉ यू लिफ्टिंग द ट्रॉफी एंड आई फेल्ट वेरी प्राउड तो इसमें तुम्हारा क्या रोल है एज सी ऑफ गुजरात टाइटन्स वॉट इज कर्नल अरविंदर सिंह ब्रिंगिंग टू द टीम वॉट इज योर रोल कम्पेयर टू उसे क्रिकेटिंग के लिए आशीष नेहरा बाकी लोग हैं आपका क्या रोल है तो सर किसी भी आईपीएल फ्रेंचाइज में यू हैव दैट वन पर्सन हु हेड्स दी होल यू नो फ्रेंचाइज एज सच फ्रॉम अ मैनेजमेंट पर्सपेक्टिव व्हिच इंक्लूड्स डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स सो क्रिकेट इज वन ऑफ देम देन यू हैव मार्केटिंग देन यू हैव सेल्स कमर्शियल्स फाइनेंस लीगल एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा इट्स लाइक इट्स लाइक एनी अदर बिजनेस एट द एंड ऑफ द डे लेट मी पुट इट दैट वे बट यस इट इज बिल्ट अराउंड क्रिकेट सो द फोकस इज ऑल व्हाट मी is all around cricket and and for cricket obviously then you have a good well structured uh, you know team which is put in place which you which is generally referred to as the support staff which includes the uh, director of cricket which includes uh, the uh, team mentor in our case director of cricket is vikram sulanki gary kirsten is the team mentor and then you have the head coach who heads all of this uh, you know ashish nehra and then you have assistant coaches we have a number of assistant coaches then you have the uh, physios you have the masseurs you have the logistics people uh, you know have the team manager you have the assistant team manager last year like we had 23 people uh, 23 players in our team and we had a uh, total of 17 support staff starting from ashish nehra ashish nehra down so you have player hai aur 23 player hai khelne wale aur 17 yeah. support staff hai 17 support staff the aur uh, ye sab So, ये तो है नहीं पे सिर्फ ये सपोर्ट स्टाफ मिलजुल के ये मैच मैचेस कर सकते हैं या या टीम को क्रिएट कर सकते हैं और उनको चला सकते हैं सो इन दी ओवरऑल स्कीम ऑफ थिंग्स देर इज होल फ्रेंचाइज एज सच इज 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 लेड बाय एन इंडिविजुअल इन दिस केस इट हैपेंस टू बी मी क्रिकेट इज वॉट 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 इज जनरली सीन अप फ्रंट वॉट यू सी वॉट दिनेशन ऑफ एवरी थिंग दैट वी डू इज ऑन द्रिकेटिंग फील्ड बट you know small uh, not small things but things like what you see on the uh, you know the logos that you see on the shirt or uh, those are commercial deals with brand uh, partnerships that you do or official partnerships that you do with various brands so there is a commercial angle to it then you are here to build a brand why should somebody support gujarat titans what is so great about gujarat titans or for that uh, matter any other franchise so what 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 what, what is it that you stand for what we spoke about earlier Yeah, it is all about brand building. At the end of the okay. day, it's all you, about. You are looking after. So. You are, <coughs> you are, uh, you are the what uh, CEO of uh, Gujarat Titan commanding officer, or you are brigade commander. <laughs> no, no, no. There is only one commanding officer here, and I report to the uh, board of the parent company. Okay. Yes. That you report to the board. You have a I board to the uh, board, okay. which is uh, of the parent company. There is a board of directors. I report uh, to the board of directors. Yes. सो ऑल दिस इनकम पास यू नो लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी मेरे को आजकल लोग पूछते हैं भाई अभी अभी तुम आई पी एल नहीं चल रहा क्या कर रहे हो सो मैं एक्चुअली बोलना ही छोड़ दिया वो आई पी एल आप लोगों के देखने के लिए है हमारा आई पी एल अभी चल रहा है सो ऑल दिस डील्स आर है ऑल दी ब्रांड एक्टिविटीज आर है लॉजिस्टिक्स गोज इन टू वेट that stadium is the biggest stadium uh, cricket stadium in the world to conduct seven home games there is i can assure you is a herculean task i will have a direct team of at least about 90 to 100 people assisting uh, the person who's going to head stadium operations who reports into me uh with at least another 2 and 1/2 to 3000 people who come from various agencies so that is the scale of what is being done there but that is something on match day for the matches and but everything needs to be yaar yeah, humne bhi jo uh, events dekhi hai is type ki organize kari hai wo oh, match day to ho jata hai lekin it is it is a blood and soil and tear and yes. soil which you do before the event Absolutely. that must be taking uh, you know organizing coordinating 
बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सर बिल्कुल बिल्कुल आई मीन आई कम से कम हमारी प्रिपरेशन तो नवंबर से शुरू हो गई थी उसके लिए स्पेशली बिकॉज ये ये हमारा पहला साल होगा जब हम अहमदाबाद में कर रहे हैं इतने बड़े स्टेडियम में कर रहे हैं और पहली बार ही अहमदाबाद में फ्रेंचाइज के मैचेस होने वाले हैं तो ये प्रेपरेशन तो इन इस रियल सेंस नवंबर से शुरू है उससे पहले प्लानिंग चल रही थी बट अभी एग्जीक्यूशन की तरफ जा रहे तो काफी काम चल रहा है बिहाइंड द सीन्स बहुत काम चल रहा है वन पार्ट ऑफ़ स्टेडियम मैं इतने दिन से कोशिश कर रहा हूँ तो यू आर बिजी तो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड की यू नो दिस इज वेरी डिस्परेट काइंड ऑफ वर्क तो ये बताओ मुझे अरविंदर की फौज की बातें बाद में करेंगे या टू डील विद पीपल लाइक गैरी कस्टम एक तरफ वो है आशीष नेहरा है एक तरफ यंग ब्लड हार्दिक पांडे और बाकी भी आपके फायरवर्क्स वाले बंदे तो ये कैसे तुम प्लस बिजनेस है फाइनली इट्स अ बिजनेस सो एज अ फौजी कैसे डील कर रहे हो तुम ये सब सर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सी देर अ सेंग इन इंग्लिश वेन यू से यूर एट द राइट टाइम एट द राइट प्लेस राइट मैंने नहीं कभी सोचा था आईपीएल के बारे में या मैंने डिसाइडेड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज माय करियर एज सच भाई आईपीएल जैसी ऐसी कि स्पोर्ट्स में जाऊंगा ये कुछ मैं लाइक अ नॉर्मल गाय मैंने अपना आई हैड पुट इन माय पेपर्स ओनली आफ्टर स्पीकिंग टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु हैड यू नो डन समथिंग लाइक दिस इंक्लूडिंग माय गुड फ्रेंड कर्नल सैम जिनके साथ आपने बात किया बैंगलोर फौज ने काफी एंड एंड ऑब्वियसली आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल टू दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट वंस द माइंड वॉज मेड अप डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट दे माई एप्लीकेशन गॉट रिजेक्टेड अबाउट फाइव टाइम्स i was persistent enough uh, and finally it took me a lot of time during this time of what was happening was uh, by god's grace i was getting an offer better than the previous one and 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 so on but i had finalized that finally i'm going to join this uh, canadian firm which was setting up its uh, land systems project in bangalore and then ipl happened now like like when i say right time right place i guess uh, preeti zinta's brother was in my regiment as you are aware yeah you know uh, and uh, she had met a couple of times and i possibly uh, her brother uh, may have spoken a little bit of friction about me to her sister as, as to what what uh, his commanding officer is and one had met her a couple of times and then when she learned that uh, uh, you know i have decided to change track she says you come and join me i said join you and do what <laughs> what have i got to do with movies so uh, anyway she said that you i'm flying you down to bombay you come down for a couple of days spend some time and then i'll explain to you what this whole ipl business is and uh, the rest is as they say sir so you joined uh, kings 11 punjab i joined huh? kings 11 punjab yeah, we saw course, you that I time also be, i yeah. got to be at uh, chandigarh where I, uh, which is home for me so where <laughs> that was another added advantage and glamour also was there kings 11 punjab mein to no and, not really uh, sir, this... me, sure, no 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 this is this is right in the very beginning when ipl started in fact this is right in i'm talking of 2008 when ipl mm. started so nobody knew in fact lot of family friends they said that uh, you better be sure of what you are trying to do you have you are joining something uh, i mean like i said you know i had already decided, uh, was joining going to join something else uh, uh, as and when the army was uh, ready to let go of me in the meanwhile this happened and they said that Like something like this has never happened in India, which was a fact. Yeah. Nobody thought how this is all going to pan out eventually. Yes. yes. But I think there is a little uh, streak of uh, you know trying to get into something which you've never done before, and uh, that's how I actually uh, agreed without hundred percent clarity of what exactly uh, or how is it going to pan out uh, in the years to come. But by God's grace, everything worked out well, and then uh, that was the start of my journey, and I have more or less stayed in this field uh, from two thousand eight onwards. Yeah, you know, six and a half years in Kings Eleven Punjab, and with the top batsman in the world, and Gail, वगैरह सब तुम्हारी ले खेलते थे यार. नहीं Gail बाद में आया था सर. उस टाइम पे हमारा बाद में batsman was Yuvraj. My time was Yuvraj was there. Uh, Gail came in uh, after I had left. After I had left. Okay. Yes. But it was a great team. I liked their body language, color. चलो उस पे बाद में बात करेंगे. अभी या Arvinder, what makes Arvinder? Is it RIMC? is the training in rmc uh, in nda 
uh it is a cumulative effect of everything uh, but i think um, uh, the maximum credit has to go to the kind of upbringing that my parents uh, you know my father was uh, uh, an ec commission officer from engineers and then he joined the border roads and my mother uh, she had been a national volleyball player and i'm talking of uh, early 60s when she played for the country i think that sporting side came from those genes and uh, she she was a teacher right through uh, you know wherever she got an opportunity to teach uh, so i think it all started from there we i'm the younger of two brothers and uh, both of us then eventually joined the army i went through rmc and uh, every institution and every uh, individual uh, or senior that one came across i think it is a cumulative effect of uh, what the wonderful organization had in developing uh, the character and the personality that you know uh, one can be today you know we talk about it all right fine your x x y and z but it is because of uh, the upbringing and then uh, the fortunate uh, uh, the fortune that i had of going through fine institutions like rmc nda ima and then my regiment in the army and then uh, you know coming across uh, uh you know some very very fine uh, senior officers uh, that you interact with and still in touch with uh, i think it's a cumulative effect of that i agree with you it is it is the entire team starts with parents then schooling and uh, you know um, like you i have i am from military school so yes. i can you know um, uh, identify then of course for me maybe uh, we, all, we were one of those who were passionate yes. you know yes. and isliye hum league se hatke kaam bhi kar rahe hain kuch hai na बिल्कुल 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 सर बिल्कुल वही था थॉट प्रोसेस वही था बिल्कुल वही था और ज्यादा ज्यादा करना चाहते हैं हाँ ज्यादा करना चाहते हैं तो आर एम सी ज्वाइन इन सेवेंटी एट एंड वहां से यू टॉप दी यूपीएससी एग्जाम तुम एक तरफ से स्पोर्ट्समैन हो और तुम तो पढ़ाई लिखाई में ये तुम्हारे क्लियर नजर आ रहा है यू आर टॉपर इन कोर्सेज स्टाफ कॉलेज भी किया How did Arvinder Singh manage studies and sports and badmashi all together? ये बताओ मुझे इसका राज क्या? नहीं नहीं I I I I think uh, that is the best part. Uh, you know, like I said, the sporting side I think came from my mother's side and uh, what one learned. Uh, you know, my father uh, came from a farming family, and uh, you know, my mother's side was uh, her her father was uh, in uh, a colonel in the British Army. He was a doctor. so uh, you know I, i i think it all from your grandparents itself you know the kind of values that you imbibe and sport i think was in blood i love sport then i love sports now and uh, you know if you can if you can be working in what your passion is nothing nothing could be better but yes sporting wise uh, you know right through from school early school days nda ima etc unit uh, you know played uh, uh golf also at the services level uh yes and every game in fact uh, one was uh, pretty i was i happily say that i was pretty good at uh, sports as such uh studies was i think because of again uh, my mother apart from being a sports person was also uh, a teacher right through so right, right i think right in the very beginning of our you know early school days both me and my brother in fact we used to be pretty good in studies i think it, and it it kind of became uh, a habit I lost my way a little bit when I joined RMC because I went to hostel. I was like I said, I'm the younger of two brothers. I think I was more spoiled than that. Uh, so it took me time to get adjusted to the kind of lifestyle, etc. And I did lose my way for a couple of years in school. But I think towards the end of it, when I when you were in tenth, eleventh, etc., and when it came to the NDA exam, uh, uh, I think I was back to and my and my parents used to wonder as to what. what is happening to this child you know for those couple of years as to you know right from coming uh, standing first in all india you you know going down to i i had to undergo a couple of retest in school in fact which was i mean that it was very rare that i would stand second in class from from the time that i remember uh, but uh, that happened uh, in school for sure but wo jaise bolte hai na thodi akal jab aa jati hai pe you know sirf khel se kuch nahi sab kuch nahi hona hai तो थोड़ी पढ़ाई भी करनी पड़ेगी एंड हैप्पी टू से दैट बाय द टाइम आई यू नो इट केम टू जॉइनिंग द एनडीए आई नॉट फर्स्ट एट लीस्ट आई वाज थर्ड व्हेन आई जॉइंड एनडीए इन द ऑल इंडिया यू वर थर्ड इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ मेरिट यस थर्ड इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ मेरिट एनडीए दैट्स एंड आई पास्ड आउट थर्ड एज़ वेल एज़ आई गॉट द प्रेसिडेंट ब्रॉन्ज मेडल या या आई आई नो तो एनडीए यू जॉइंड एंड हाउ वाज इट 
यू आर एशियन इंडियन एशियन आई एम ये बड़ा रेयर चीज है ये मतलब हाउ डिट दिस वॉज जस्ट बिकॉज यू आर गुड इन स्पोर्ट्स स्टडीज ऑलराउंड या कुछ और एक्स्ट्रा था क्या था नहीं आई थिंक इट हैड टू डू विद इन स्टडीज वाज प्रीटी प्रीटी गुड स्पोर्ट्स ऑफ कोर्स वाज देयर आई थिंक इट इज इट इज इट इज एंड 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 यू नो द काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस दैट दे मेक यू गो थ्रू व्हेन यू आर सिलेक्टेड फॉर दीस काइंड ऑफ अपॉइंटमेंट्स एट दैट लेवल सो यू हैव टू बी यू हैव टू बी इट्स मोर देन जस्ट स्पोर्ट्स और स्टडीज आई थिंक इट इज अबाउट द पर्सनालिटी एज़ वेल इट्स अबाउट द कैरेक्टर एज़ वेल सो आई थिंक इट्स अ क्यूमुलेटिव इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस uh they find that somebody who has that in him to be able to do that and fortunately uh, both places i i did get that opportunity to get aca both in india hey, and to be uh, so out of this to matlab uh, academic candidate student of nda and ima in dono mein agar compare karo which gave you more thrill or you know have to wear the blue tabs and whole academy looks at you to so, kis mein jyada aapko thrill mila isme arvind नहीं थ्रिल तो दोनों में ही था सर बट इफ यू रियली लुक एट इट बिकॉज ऑफ द वे इट इज स्ट्रक्चर यू नो आई एम बीइंग यू नो द वे इट इज स्प्रेड आउट एंड यू नो एवरीथिंग इज बटालियन वाइज अनलाइक इन इंडिया वेयर इट इज नॉट एंड एवरीबॉडी कम्स टुगेदर यू नो फॉर एवरीथिंग इंक्लूडिंग वन कैडेट्स मेस एट्सेट्रा सो फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव आई वुड डेफिनेटली रेट इंडिया अ नॉट हायर because a you have grown from being a little boy of 16 year old to getting to mm-hmm. that stage and you have seen the you seen your progression i am a uh, and of course it is meant to be that way that you are at your final uh, you know training stage where before yeah. just before commissioning so you have one six months you are a junior and then uh, straight away yeah, no, final term yeah. and then because of the the uh, you know the training uh, you know curriculum that is there in i am a it is more attuned to your battalion wise activities uh, rather than course wise activities and it is more intense for sure at that stage yep. so obviously it had uh, you know that what you associate typical with ac type mm-hmm. activities i would say mm-hmm. say, say and yes yeah i can imagine so india ki koi achhi meet achhi yaad hai koi restrictions ya koi aur panga ya koi koi dss jisne aapko bahut impress kiya ho ki yaar arvinder aisa banna hai anything about india you want to share uh one man uh, you know jab character ki baat aati hai sir uh, and that officer wouldn't talk much there two in fact i would uh, speak about obviously at that stage you're dealing more with your own uh, divos as you would call them in india and your uh, squadies uh, in india so i would talk of my first divo in india uh, uh, god bless his soul uh, is no more uh, that was major gurinder and uh, he was from the paras and uh, what an imposing tall personality and it was imposing was not in terms of how he would how loudly he would speak but the way he would carry himself and the way he would you know everything was meaningful about him it was not that usual run of the mill kind of loudness and threat and, and all that just thing that was a personality trait that uh, the gentleman carried uh, and and he was he was the f- first as a cadet if you would say that what is the epitome of a uh, Uh, an officer and a gentleman that was him you know he left a very lasting impression on me and the second one was uh, of course uh, skolnir malhotra he in fact he also happened to be in colin but uh, and we hardly interacted i mean where is the interaction of a of a cadet and a squadron commander hardly unless you are up for punishment uh, so i i uh, i was supposed to command the parade in india so i was becoming the acc and uh, uh i got into a little bit of trouble uh, unnecessary trouble and i got uh, detabbed 3 days before the 4 days before yeah, the show ye yeah, uh, ye yeah, batao ki you because you got into a lot of troubles but uh, you were epitome <laughs> of a good armored corps officer or a mechanized mechanized force officer ki yaar pakde nahi jana hai kaam nahi main pakda nahi kiya tha maine khud report kiya tha sir tha nahi india ka mujhe pata nahi kya hua to what nahi maine khud report kiya tha main pakda nahi kiya tha main khud report kiya tha क्या Uh, so I gave him. I, I in fact gave him a couple of slaps, and he agreed that he had done it, and he brought the suitcase back. 
And like a good soul, I went and reported to the adjutant of the uh, assistant adjutant of the academy, who was officiating as the adjutant at that point of time. That uh, before you hear of some anything like this from somebody else, I'll this thing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I realized later that he was waiting for an opportunity, and then okay. he, I got put into a situation where uh, so I, I I was marched up uh, to the deputy first, uh, and and that is the day I was supposed to become the because I was commanding the parade, I was becoming the academy career captain. Hmm. Instead of that, I was told tomorrow you will come back and you will be detailed. <laughs> so that's <laughs> so that's what happened. But uh, so be it. Uh, that did, did teach, bar... teach a lesson, and I remember the words of the then commandant uh, General Sami Khan. What a fine gentleman he was, and uh, I must share with you, sir. He did not want to detail me at that stage. He said, you know, we'll we'll give him some other punishment, etc., and all that. But. Uh, I guess uh, the adjutant, assistant adjutant, and the deputy commandant uh, had already kind of decided. Uh, so I got it up. Uh, I must share this with you. It was then guards, your guards' key, new Subhadar Major. He had just joined a couple of months back uh, after uh, Subhadar Major Darbar Singh. He had relieved mm-hmm. him. Uh, Subhadar Major Ratigiri. Mm-hmm. I don't remember which guards he was, but he was from guards. Mm-hmm. And he was literally standing on my shoulder, you know. He was, and then when he said, "Okay, fine, detail him," he was literally begging the commandant not to do so. He says, "This is my first parade. The whole of the country, uh, pura desh, isko dekhne wala hai. Ab please, isko isko ek mina main rakhunga, isko khub ragda laga dunga. Iske baad par aise mat kariye. Mere meri parade mat kharaab hone dijiye, because ye yehi hai sahi jo parade command karega." So, Mary Pelly Parade, please assemble Kiji. And the assistant adjutant literally had to three, four times tell him that Subhadar uh, Major Sab, orders go follow Karo. So, eventually did that. And the best part was after this happened, after about an hour, when I came back to the squadron, and uh, suddenly there is a black car that comes outside the squadron. I was in Lima squadron. And, uh, you know, somebody comes and says, Sir, uh, Captain So and so, I don't remember the name. Has called you downstairs. I said, "Ab maine kya kiya hai? Abhi tak to kya hoga? Ab maine kya kiya? Isse aur kya hoga? 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 Isse aur Three of us sat down and he took a promise from me there, General Sami Khan, a uh, man of few words, but what a, pers- what a personality he was. And he took a promise from me that when I go to the IMA and in my third term, I will get those tabs back, which I did. And I wrote to him then that, and I still have that deal with me where he uh, kind of uh, was happy that I lived up to what I had promised him. So that was that was something which was uh, which happened there. And but again, you will learn from everything that you. Want yeah, to yeah, you learn from, from and, uh, and uh, this uh, uh, incidents in India. I mean, young officer men, uh, they are really uh, they serve you good stead in life, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So then we come to your I M A days. Uh, I M A was short tenure, but uh, you were A C A. And uh, any good memories of Dehradun uh, you have? Dehradun was good fun, sir. Five years ago, school me cutte Dehradun me. Dehradun was almost like a second home. Yeah, and so then, you went back. Going back to school was great, and oh yes, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Going back to school, I remember when we were in when I was in school. So sometimes we used to be allowed to go to IMA or to watch movies along with the GCs. Or chote chote utte the hum or blazer pan ke. I remember, still remember we used to go. And now you were on the other side, <laughs> and more so because you were the AC and you were supposedly the big dog who was you know kind yeah. of keeping things in order there, like you uh-huh. know, uh-huh. the auditorium. Hmm. And these little kids uh, would walk in with this thing, and they would be flaunting around because, yeah, yeah. Mara Banda types, you know. So you uh, understand uh, the, the the feeling that yeah, they yeah. would uh, generate. But one one incident, ek baat main aapke saath share karunga sir. I told you that in school I lost a little bit of my way for yeah. a couple of years. Uh, and so when I when I did become the ACA back in uh, in Iman, I went to school in uniform. I went to school. वो केंशन लेके टैब शैब लगा के अच्छा ओके हाँ और मैं स्टाफ रूम में पहुंच गया सर एंड माय फेवरेट टीचर फेवरेट टीचर वाज देयर दिस थिंग वो मेरे को देखते ही ही स्टार्टेड वॉकिंग गुड आउटसाइड दी स्टाफ रूम आई सेड सर कहाँ जा रहे हैं आई कम टू मीट यू सेड नो नो आई हैव अ क्लास आई सेड डोंट वरी आई कम विद यू टू द क्लास 
So I walked into the class with him. He says, you, how can you make this thing? I have to teach. I said, no. And kids, you know, sir, oh, I make a AC. I, uh, uh, I know. And the, with your guys, personality, this, with your the, personality, the, you know. Uh, uh, the top, top, the, jo us time, jo amare, matlab, jab hum 11th mein ke baad jab pass out huye, to jo us time 7th mein the, they were now into 10th, 11th and all that. Yeah. So they had seen in school also. And now you suddenly see this, uh, you know, uh, guy walking in with uh, tabs and all that and grown up and stuff like that. So the kids would 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 they halam chana shuru kar diya bachcho mein typical jaise hota hi hota hi hai. The teacher was pretty upset, but I had my little piece of uh, I won't call it respect because I, I have a lot of respect for that gentleman as a, as a teacher for sure. But probably somewhere we we, we had our differences. Bachche the sir. Sahi hai, I know. Then you joined the 71 Armored Regiment. So you were always wanting to wear the black beret? No, not really, sir. I think uh, my father, having been from engineers, was very keen that one of the... You know, my, my brother, uh, who eventually went into the uh, uh, infantry, actually wanted to join the Armored Corps. But uh, he was uh, unfortunately not in the... Super he, and he was just six months senior to me. He's only one course senior to me, both in India and I mean. Okay. Uh, and uh, he was like, he got, you know, like many uh, others that used to happen at that point of time who wouldn't get their Amit Koram would land uh, uh, without uh, casting any aspersions on any any particular uh, uh, right, right, yeah. unit. Uh, you know, both of them, if Sadar ko agar Amit Koram didn't get Amit Koram, then he will get Madras or Bihar. And my brother got to be a friend. And I still remember, uh, you know, his his uh, friends and me and all of these to tease him. I said, don't worry, you still join the Armored Corps. It's the British Indian Heavy Armored Regiment. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, no, so, you, know, uh, you know, you need to have pull and all that to join Armored Corps, this, that and the other. So I think it was a bit of that because I, uh, by God's grace, was in the super block and, uh, you know, so one could pick and choose. Uh, also, at that time, of course, it had to do with a, a little bit of that so-called glamour quotient of, you know, black dungarees and stuff yeah, like that. Because they're armor and guards. Yes. Uh, uh, they're always, you know, there is a charm in joining. Guards was my first place. choice in infantry. In fact, uh, I can I can candidly share with you now that I was uh, about a, about 10 days before the, uh, or maybe lesser than that, I was, uh, and I will not take any names here, I was called by the powers that be and said, if you want the sword, change. You still have time. So, <laughs> I remember the answer that I gave uh, to that very senior officer then, because he made me sit down and have a cup of tea, etc. And all that made me feel very comfortable. I said, okay, fine, maybe I can be a little more frank with him. I said, sir, this, uh, you know, basically, uh, we, the background is from a village. And uh, we have enough sports, swords there. And honor is something that is supposed to be within us. <laughs> he told me, get up. Get up. And <laughs> I still remember that. I was thrown out of his office, literally, with a, with a little Mary biscuit in my hand. And <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't think there was any one particular cause to join Amit Kaur. I think at that age, uh, this thing, and my, my father never forced me. Yes, he did want one of his two sons to at least go into engineers, to go into a technical arm. But I think both of, both of us are not inclined towards the technical side of stuff. So he uh, landed up in the infantry. And uh, uh, since I could uh, possibly pick and choose, I, I actually landed up in uh, Amit Kaur. Great time you had with tanks. You joined uh, the unit was already T-72? No, no. So there was T-55. In fact, uh, yeah. we changed over to T-90s six months before I took over when uh, the see, conversion You started. changed over from T-55 to T-90s. I thought yours was uh, Acha. So it was a big leap, yeah? Absolutely. <laughs> T-55 to T-90? Absolutely. Absolutely. It was, it, was, it was like moving from first generation to fifth generation. We are infantry officer, but we are first guard. We were part of the change when it changed from infantry to mechanized infantry. Right, right. And we had reasonable service. We had a big service when we converted. So it's a big, big change. Yes, yes, absolutely, sir. It was, it was a huge change. It was a huge change. 
but we'll talk about that conversion when we do this thing because i can tell you that was uh, by far among the finest conversions of any armored regiment that you could have seen people used to refuse to believe you know i i will not take names and uh, my contemporaries who became ceos of other units who then converted were converting to t90s and they wanted to because we had done that you know uh, you know the curriculum etc and all that it took us 6 months when those 6 months we were out we were not even in we were the regiment had moved to isar we moved in for 3 days and then moved out to the dbs in uh, patiala and from there to the desert and then to pokhran for the firing and then for the test exercise Six months, this thing where night, day, we and very fortunate to have served with Colonel Chahel, who was the uh, commander at that time. What a fine conversion that was, and that is what uh, I'm sure is still holding uh, the regiment in good stead. Great. So, uh, and which me, upne jitne course ki arvinder, you got AX, AXI, AI in all courses. You cleared Staff College. You did fifty fifth, I think, है ना? Fifty fifth. I did fifty second. and uh, 55th staff college mein to get the thimaya medal uh, so tumhari performance ekdam consistent rahi hai kabhi kabhi low phase nahi hua tumhare uh, in dino mein kabhi matlab kahin pe failure dekha ho aapne kahin uh nahi sir aisa aisa to kuch hua nahi but i will not i i uh, as an individual i don't refer to all this as successes really speaking i think it had a lot to do with uh, the fact that you know एनडीए में ठीक हो गया आई एम ए में ठीक हो गया बायोज में ठीक हो गया तो काइंड ऑफ यू नो वो सेटअप हो जाता है ये 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 ठीक है ये लड़का ठीक है ये ऑफिसर अच्छा है एनी वर्क हार्ड एनी ऑल दैट एनी प्लेज हार्ड तो एक वो आपको पता है सर अमर कोर इतनी बड़ी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो कुछ थी नहीं इतनी बड़ी कोई कोर तो था नहीं सिमिलरली विद मेक लेक से एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एटलीस्ट and then you know you have a contemporary then the world spreads and thing like that but i don't think there is any any difference between anybody i i i still feel that just because you scored a little more marks uh, in your written exam doesn't make you a better officer or a better trained person than yeah, somebody who possibly came back uh-huh. with a charlie so i i i uh, i i i maybe little uh, you know off the road here but uh, that that's my that's my personal thinking having said that not taking away anything from the fact that yes you still have to put in that effort to get those marks Yeah. right you, you still, still have to put be, that extra effort need, yes absolutely and at every stage there was it was not just theory, theory there was practical also yeah. so it was i think a combination a little bit of both that uh, you know wo ho gaya but mai utna hi karta tha bhai ha alpha aa jaye theek hai i nahi in your case you know i can see your career from rimc then nda i am always doing well i belong to a uh, breed where hum to bilkul average mai hi khush the and then this thing struck ki nahi yaar hum hum kyon nahi kar sakte hain exactly you, that is that is exactly the, the language sir ah. yahi mein ye this is exactly the point that i'm trying to make how does how how do you you know it's okay to you know get somebody or say that alpha hai bravo hai charlie and all firstly uh, if i had my way <laughs> i would n- never have this this so called grading exactly uh, exactly it, yeah. it, it 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 is it is demeaning to a certain extent if you really ask me yeah i agree with you because mm-hmm. because hamara structure aisa hai you know okay fine 5% have to get a 50% have to get b you know and then the remainder get c and all that. i mean but that's uh, you focus more on the training aspect of it rather than exactly. on what marks and and on becoming a true leader. leader in becoming an officer isko jawan bhi kahe ki sahab ye hai इसके इसके साथ लड़ाई में जाना है एग्जैक्टली आप यूनिट में देखो सर आप यूनिट में देखो आप क्या बोलते हो किसके साथ लड़ाई पे जाओ आप सबसे बदमाश बंदे को ढूंढते हो पे मैं ये लड़ाई हुई तो ये मेरे साथ होना चाहिए जो स्पोर्ट्समैन होता है आप ढूंढते हो पे वो है उस टाइम पे तो नहीं देखते पे अल्फा है या ब्रावो है तो जब उस टाइम पे नहीं देखना तो फिर देन वाई क्रिएट दैट डिफरेंशिएशन Yes, I'm not taking away anything from the fact that you need qualified people to then come back teach other people etc and all that. Fair enough. That's okay, but why? Why you know? Thappa lagane ki kya zorat hai usne? Exactly. That is that is that that was always. Because they say, काफी लोग ना disheartened हो जाते हैं and uh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, they can do much better, but they don't realize the potential because शुरू के सालों में JC नहीं किया staff college नहीं किया so they feel कि यार हम तो correct correct sir correct sir absolutely correct. मैंने cross attachment की थी sir. एक इन्फेंट्री यूनिट के साथ द डिफरेंस वेर वॉट आई फाउंड देयर बिटवीन माई ओन रेजिमेंट एंड लेट से देयर इन दिस एंड दिस वॉज ओनली एल सी एक सैन मॉडल था ठीक है सर तो वहां पर हो रहा था यू नो नरेटिव वन तुम करोगे नरेटिव तुम लैंडमार्क तुम दिखाओगे इंट्रोडक्शन टू सैन मॉडल तुम करोगे 
ब्रिगेड लेवल पे था और वो ब्रिगेड भी बहुत बड़ा है वो छह सात बटालियन डिवीजन टाइप ही है वो मेरे को बोला भाई यू नो आई हैड व्हाट व्हाट फोर एंड हाफ फोर एंड हाफ इयर्स ऑफ सर्विस बट नॉट प्रिवी टू दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स देयर इन 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 द दिस थिंग बिकॉज़ पॉसिबली ये मैं ऐसा कभी किया नहीं किसी ने एंड आई वाज अ कंपनी कमांडर देयर ऑन वन ऑफ द पोस्ट वन ऑफ द कंपनी पोस्ट एंड बोला भाई तुम ये करो मैं कह मैं सब कुछ करूंगा मैं ये क्यों करूंगा भाई मैं ये वन क्यों मैं वो करूंगा या मैं ठीक है मैं जो भी कराएंगे मैं करूंगा बट वाई यू टेलिंग मी दैट अगर ये पूछा तो तू खड़ा हो जाना ये हो जाना तो वो हो जाना ये हो जाना आई 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 समाउ सो आई वाज अ लिटिल यू नो ऑफ द पीटन ट्रैक फ्रॉम दोस टाइम्स ओनली इफ 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 दैट इज अ टर्म दैट आई कैन यूज हियर बट आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गिव यू दिस एग्जांपल दैट यू नो everybody or most people would were then inclined to look at it because the system made them look at it from that perspective that now abhi tune ye karna hai phir tune ye karna hai phir tune ye karna hai abhi to uske liye taiyar nahi hai you know you have to of course you have to go through that progression but how can you deny somebody if he is of a of a certain caliber or somebody who has a better understanding or why not create conditions for everybody to be like that why restrict so mere hamesha ye thoda sa mere mein keda tha मेरे में भी रहा है ऑफ वेरी अनकन्वेंशनल एंड अनप्रडिक्टेबल स्ट्रीक इनफैक्ट यू नो आर आर में और इन्फेंट्री ऑपरेशन में इवन मैकेज बनने के बाद हमारा माइंड हमेशा यू नो वर लुकिंग सोल्यूशन आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स की कुछ नया सोचो यार ये क्या प्रेसी थकी हुई चीज है तो मेरे था ठीक है उन मैंने मैंने भरा सी आई राइट एंड दैट वाज मोर आउट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट आई वाज ड्यू फॉर सी आई आई न्यू आई वाज डूइंग सो आई सेड व्हाई गिव देम दिस व्हाई गिव द द मिस्टीरियस पीपल द सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ यू नो टेकिंग दैट फर्वर्स प्लेजर ऑफ नॉट एक्सीडिंग टू माय रिक्वेस्ट एंड उधर जा आई सेड मैं उधर ही जाऊंगा सो आई 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 वेंट देयर and uh, uh i don't know whether we should be talking about it whether we should this day it's a uh, candid free flow no koi uh, okay. structured kuch bhi nahi hai so i had uh, my commander and my deputy both were from uh, the infantry and very nice people uh deputy saab thode se kabhi kabhi karte the pe isko kya malum hai to amit kor ka hai ye isko kya malum hai to amit kor ka hai rr mein i used to you know ask him i said sir we have all been trained for conventional war right we all trying to adjust to whatever is happening here and yeah. you learn from people right so if you have this thing and then uh, i remember there was a huge uh, you know uh, uh, plan being made for something uh, in one of the areas so there were three four ceos and uh, of of the neighboring formation also and all that and i was presenting that plan which had been discussed with the uh, boss which he was the deputy was not privy to so in between possibly he did not like that plan or whatever ops room mein ye shuru ho gaya you know i don't agree i said so fair enough we will we'll discuss this whether we are there nobody saying that you need to agree or not agree to this we can discuss this when we have the discussion so he turned around and tell the command ye amit kor ka ye kya batayega so i lost it a little i said sir what is amit kor got to do with it yeah exactly. i'm wearing ara i'm wearing ara what is amit kor got to do with it he says there are kya experience either so i had turned around and told him which was a fact I said, sir, I have more experience of counterinsurgency than you have. That was his first time he was ever coming to that any of these yeah areas in his whole career. ये तो अरविंदर मैंने वहाँ देखा है यार मैं तो full tenure thirty six R R के साथ किया है officers of armed corps, mechanized infantry, air defence, engineers. They come out with uh, they have done exceedingly well. ये किसी की C I किसी की battle नहीं है. Exactly, exactly, sir. एग्जैक्टली exactly. yeah, आगे, आगे, आगे बताता हूँ थोड़ा क्या हुआ बोलते हो ना बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ तेरी बदमाशी एंड यू ऑलवेज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ़ दैट आई ऑलवेज हैड दैट स्ट्रीक आई वुड डिनाई दैट सो देन सो आई आई टोल्ड माय सेल्फ बाय द वे आई हैव मोर एक्सपीरियंस इन सीआई देन यू हैव दिस थिंग वो ही बोल रहा था हाउ कैन यू टॉक टू दैट सो ही लुक्ड एट द कमांडर हु कमांडर हु वाज एक्चुअली जूनियर टू हिम एंड दे वर बोथ ऑन द सेम रेजिमेंट ऑफ द इन्फेंट्री डिफरेंट बिटाल बट सेम रेजिमेंट बट you know because he had been superseded uh, so but he was the deputy and uh, the other gentleman was the commander <laughs> so the commander said arvinder you don't need to say such thing and i turned around i said sir i have more experience of ci than both of you put together oh which was God. a fact 
<laughs> there was a, there, there was you know pin drop silence as you can imagine how what would have happened in that ops room and then he walked out others walked out see was this thing and couple of them i went and sat down in my office and uh, for about 15 20 minutes there was a lot of that murmuring and all that as <laughs> usual that uh, that happens and then i got called by the commander and he says what is i said sir sorry i got a little carried away i shouldn't have said it about you but i am also not ready to accept uh, you know somebody yeah this kind of caustic uh, remarks publicly you know if you're trying to humiliate somebody or, you know or isolate somebody and then pinpoint certain thing which is not right he said that part i agree but the second part is this thing and he, and then the good man that he was he says now let's calculate कितना किसका कितना एक्सपीरियंस है एंड देन आई प्रूव टू हिम पे मेरा ज्यादा था सो दैट्स वेरी गुड थिंग्स अबाउट द आर्मी दैट कभी कभी नहीं अरविंदर कभी करना चाहिए यार इसीलिए हम फौज में बने हैं अरे वो लड़ाई कैसे करेंगे यू नो मैं भी एक किस्सा मेरे साथ आप कभी मैंने शेयर नहीं किया मैं कमांडर था यार 23 इंडेप का आई कमांडेड आर्मर्ड ब्रिगेड और मेरे को ना हमेशा ऐसे स्टडी मिलती थी कि यार कुछ नया कुछ है तो ये बंदा बात करेगा तो जैसे वो कोर का वो सैट वैट होता है कुछ ना तो मेरे को बोला यार कि, कि यार तुम बिल्टअप एरिया पे या हाइब्रिड वॉरफेयर पे ना कमांडर ट्वेंटी थ्री को दे दो तो मैंने मैंने बिल्टअप एरिया फाइट पे काफी रिसर्च पढ़े लिखे रहे यार हमने काफी रिसर्च करके बड़ी धमाकेदार प्रेजेंटेशन दी और वहां सब बैठे पूरे कोर के सीओ है सीनियर कंपनी कमांडर्स है कमांडर्स है जियो सीज है ये तो वन पर्टिकुलर ही रोज टू बी एन आर्मी कमांडर ही ही सेज आई नो यू यू नो यू वेरी गुड ये वो बट यार तुमने ऐसे दिखा के लोग लो घबरा जाएंगे ऐसे होता है क्या काउंटर इंसेंसी में ये वो एंड ऑल मैंने कहा देखो सर बात ऐसा आप बन गए जनरल एंड oh. आपने लड़ाई नहीं लड़नी लड़ाई नो लड़नी है जो आगे बैठे इसलिए मैंने रियलिटी बतानी है कि बिल्टअप एरिया में टैंक्स को बी को और किस तरीके की मुश्किलें होती है सन्नाटा छा गया अगेन यार समी एट दिस रैंक टर्निंग सर यू हैन यूर फाइटिंग and this is addressed to them it's not meant for the generals absolutely. this presentation bilkul bilkul absolutely no i'll i'll i'll, let, I'll tell you another in armored core ki baat batata hu sir jo jab t90 hue to we were the only uh, armored regiment which was t90 in that whole command not even that formation in the whole of the command or uh, nahi nahi command bani thi and we were the only t90 regiment right sir नए टैंक बिल्कुल फर्स्ट क्लास ट्रेनिंग करके हम आए ये वो कन्वर्जन खत्म होते ही बीस दिन में आई आई टुक ओवर फ्रॉम कर्नल चैनल एंड यू नो बिल्कुल तैयार थे हर एक चीज के लिए भाई अब अब हो जाए लड़ाई अब मजा आएगा अब होनी चाहिए लड़ाई टाइप से फील्ड फायरिंग का टाइम आया तो दैट टिपिकल इंटर रेजिमेंट फायरिंग कॉम्पिटिशन दस दैट ये उसके वो निकले ये वो ठीक है अब हमारे पास सिंस वी वर द फर्स्ट रेजिमेंट देयर उस फॉर्मेशन में और उस कमांड में कहीं सिमिलेटर्स भी थे नॉट टी नाइनटी का टेक्निकली ऐसा है नथिंग आई आई एम श्योर यू आपने भी किया होगा एफएमआर वाज नॉट समथिंग व्हिच इज एप्लीकेबल टू टी नाइनटी राइट एग्जैक्टली टी फिफ्टी फाइव मैं बताता हूँ सर आपको मैं बात बता कहाँ तक बात पहुंची है कहाँ तक बात पहुंची है तो किया मैंने कहा तो मैंने एक भेजा प्रपोजल पर मैं क्रूज को अपने कमांडर्स और गनर्स को मैं भेजना चाहता हूँ पटियाला Uh, you know for simulation simulation training simulators pe hoga kehte fmr karo to maine bola bhai isme fmr lagu nahi hai no this thing so i got called to to the uh, big man there and he says yaar he says tu amit kaur ka ceo ke bol raha hai bhai fmr nahi tu karna chahta i said sir sari umar fmr hi ki hai t55 mein aur ye agar applicable hota to fmr hi karta main wo nahi mangta बट इसमें एफ एम आर का कोई मतलब नहीं है इज वट आर यू टॉकिंग यू नो पुरानी पुरानी रेजिमेंट इतने तीन तीन छह छह महीने फायरिंग से पहले एफ एम आर करते मैं भी कर लेता बट ये इस एफ एम आर इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू दिस इक्विपमेंट प्लस मेरा यू राइट अ पेपर सो आई रोट अ पेपर देन आई गेव एम अ डेमो ही हिमसेल सिटिंग इन साइड इन फायरिंग सो इज इज ये तो देख मैम मेरे तो सारे टारगेट लगे ऐसे ऐसे रुको Change the target by half an inch. Just put the, this thing. I said, now try to fire on that, sir. Because it's all computerized, sir. It's all computerized. It's all this thing. कितना आप तो लग नहीं रहा? मैं क्या मैं वही तो बता रहा हूँ, sir. इसमें कोई correction नाम की चीज़ ही नहीं है. There's nothing that you can do. It is all technical. It's all sensor based, etc. Computerized this thing. If your parameters are not right, if you're not fed your, if you're not diligently done your uh, zeroing, which is done in this case at very short distances. You cannot. There is no way that you can hit. And if you have done it right, there is no way that you can miss, you especially can miss. with the new equipment. Uh-huh. There is no question. 
eventually uh, hua and then he said me no if you don't get 80% uh, you know hits in the this thing fir baat karenge even kata if you get more than 80% i'll give you a bottle of scotch man ka sir if i don't i'll give you a case of scotch my <laughs> my regiment on that short haul technique etc and all that we got about 95% hits और मैंने मैं और एंड एंड जो जिन्होंने मिस किया था उनको जूते पड़े थे हाउ द हेल कैन यू मिस ब्रांड न्यू कोपमन फ्रेशली ट्रेन पीपल देयर इज नो वे दैट यू कैन मिस उस टाइम पे आई यू नो इवेंचुअली द इक्विपमेंट वेयर एंड टियर इज देयर दैट्स बाउंड टू हैपन बट ये हर एक जगह होता है ये हर एक जगह होता है दिस क्वेश्चन दिस गीड़ा वाज ऑलवेज देयर ऑफ क्वेश्चन तो कि कुछ नया करना है एंड हमेशा यू नो फॉरवर्ड लुकिंग forward looking uh, rena uh, uh, arvinder now we are coming at the kya hai uh, fag end of the interview main do teen cheeze aapse puchna chahta hu ki tum ek role model rahe ho zindagi mein yeah. as a young officer as a cadet now uh, you know uh, as a as a entrepreneur keh lo ya managing punjab kings uh, kings 11 punjab now gujarat titans uh, do cheeze main aapse puchna chahunga ek to kyunki uh, mujhe young bacche desh mein bahut follow karte hain तो जो एनडीआई में एस्पायरेंट्स हैं उनके लिए आप क्या एडवाइस देना चाहोगे किस तरीके की पर्सनालिटी होनी चाहिए क्या उनको करना चाहिए कि यार दे कैन रियलाइज दिस गोल पहले ये बताओ आप व्हाट डू यू फील बिल्कुल आई 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 थिंक दिस इज दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर पीपल गेट लॉस्ट इन दैट एंड देयर इज सो मच ऑफ एडवाइस अवेलेबल आई थिंक दैट फोकस ऑफ हाउ टू गो अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग द मोर ऑफ वॉइसेस दैट यू गेट इनटू योर ईयर एंड द मोर पीपल ट्राइंग टू डू दैट फॉर यू आई थिंक द मोर कंफ्यूजिंग दिस वी मे लुक एट इट फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट पर्सपेक्टिव बिकॉज़ वी हैव बीन थ्रू इट सर but what our teachers mentors parents how did they make us go go about at that point of time yes times have changed i think focus is something that is absolutely important and second of course is the fact that uh communication sir you need to communicate you if you think that you have read an article on uh, you know psychology or ssb or entrance exam on on the internet and many times over Hey, that's going to help you. No, it's not going to help you. It's definitely not going to help you. So you have to have a singular devotion to what you want to achieve. Focus, and then the more knowledge, knowledge as a knowledge, not 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 riff rap, not just yeah, anything knowledge. and everything about it. There is a surface that the difference now between now and then was that at that time what was given to you was what was made what was available to you. Today, you a the whole world is on the on the screen in front of you. with the advent of internet uh, you know in india and uh, you know brilliantly that has happened over the last few years especially it is it is it is how do you keep that child's focus his or her focus you know towards that and then of course the right people like you who need to then guide them in the right manner channelize their energies in in the in the right manner otherwise uh, you know uh, in today's fast moving world lot of children and it's not just the not just those boys and girls who are looking to join the nda or uh, maybe nda is at this thing but i would say i may let's say for that for that matter you know people who just after graduation and all that i uh, i i i get dozens and dozens hundreds and thousands of people who who, who get in touch and you know so even in the on the sporting field which which fortunately i've been in for the last 15 years and like i said you know from the start of how the sporting culture actually started in india sir my answer to them is very simple at that point of time i said first decide what you want to do that's focus right then how are you going to achieve how are you going to tick all the right boxes to get to that particular place you have to go through that process if you think that there are any shortcuts and you're going to get coaching from a or b or c or d and then achieve it i said sorry that's not going to happen you may end up achieving some of them may end up achieving but your start point itself is wrong so i think that focus on that and when i say communication it is the two way communication sir your your urge as a child to be able to want more more and more uh, information about uh, what you want to get into and how you want to get into and the converse of who is guiding them i think that is equally important so i think uh, there are other things but these are the primary factors in my particular views brilliant absolutely brilliant this is what yahi mai पर्सनालिटी कैसे डेवलप करनी है और खास तौर पे ना अरविंदर आप और मैं जमीन से जुड़े हुए हैं और हम हम हमारी जनरेशन आपके फादर इसी कमीशन थे मेरे फादर एनडीआई में मैं इंस्ट्रक्टर रहे हैं एस ए हवलदार एंड जेसीओ माय फादर इज थ्री इंस्ट्रक्टर टेन इयर्स उन्होंने हजारों ऑफिसर्स को पढ़ाया है वेपन ट्रेनिंग के इंस्ट्रक्टर होते थे सिक्सटीज में रिटायर्ड एस एनरी कैप्टन तो जमीन से या तो खेती करते थे या फौज में भर्ती होते थे हम लोगों ने हम अभी भी गाँव से जुड़े हुए हैं 
और उनके लिए हमारा दिल धड़कता आज भी कि यार इन बच्चों के लिए हम कैसे बिकॉज देखो अभी ये जॉब्स खत्म हो रहे हैं है ना ऊपर से ये बच्चे जो दौड़ दौड़ के अग्निपथ स्कीम ने भी बेचारों के सपने धाराशाही कर दिए एटलीस्ट जो एनडीए आई एम ए पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेज में ऑफिसर्स बन सकते हैं उनको तो हम थोड़ा सा अगर हम बूस देंगे मेरे जैसे लोग तो शायद वो अपना सपना पूरा कर सकते हैं तो ये ये एक मुद्दा है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल हंड्रेड परसेंट एग्री विद यू सर आई थिंक आई वुड गो स्टेप फर्दर एंड से दैट विद द काइंड ऑफ गाइडेंस दैट यू एंड अ फ्यू अदर्स हु आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू नो फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ पीपल पॉसिबली वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन दी सर्विसेज आई वुड से वॉट यू आर टीचिंग दम इज नॉट जस्ट रिलेटेड टू द सर्विसेज इट इज रिलेटेड टू लाइफ एज सच यू कुड इट कुड बी एनी चोजन फील्ड फॉर योर सेल्फ but at the end of the day there are commonalities and how you go about it and what you want to achieve in that it need not necessarily be true only for the services those are life lessons i would say those are life lessons and my belief has always been that if you, if if your life lessons are all right you will maybe you will, at some places you will make it some places you may not make it but but that's all part of the learning curve in any case so so That is where I also used to differ. आपने जब मैं से पूछा भी बीच में काम फेलियर दिस थिंग मैं किसी चीज को फेलियर मानता ही नहीं सर ना मैं उसको इतना ज्यादा सक्सेस मानता हूँ ना मैं उसको इतना ज्यादा फेलियर मानता हूँ येस ऑफिसर्स कम एंड टूडे ऑल्सो आस मी भाई हाउ डू वी गो अबाउट इट आई सी यू नो डोंट गो बाय सो कॉल्ड सक्सेस स्टोरीज फाइन यू काउंट मी मंग दैट नो प्रॉब्लम माइन आई लाइक टोल्ड यू द ओनली एडवांटेज आई हैड वॉज आई वॉज द राइट टाइम राइट प्लेस अगर वो प्रीति जिंटा का भाई मेरे रेजमेंट में नहीं होता मेरा आईपीएल से क्या लेना देना सर आप बताओ Why would somebody look look at this thing, especially when it is just about starting out? I had I had I had done nothing like that earlier. I knew nothing of marketing and sales and finance and commercial and legal and all that. So it was I I but God, uh, life gave me an opportunity. It was because of those life lessons and that whatever traits that somebody oh. saw in me and said that all right fine here is a guy who 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 is capable of doing that right. So it eventually came down to those life lessons only, na sir. Yeah, I was in a totally different field. That is what I tell them. I say, don't count somebody else's success story. Why? You know, you should be happy that somebody is doing well. What do we help out? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Better yeah. as far as possible. Hmm. But these life lessons are are, are common, sir. These are correct. Yeah, बिल्कुल common है. इसमें कोई शक नहीं है. इसीलिए फौजी भी बाहर जाके वही succeed हो रहे हैं जो फौज के अंदर भी उनमें कुछ था अलग अलग बात थी. है ना? वो लकीर के फकीर नहीं थे. 100% सर मैं अभी आपको एक पिछले महीने का इंसिडेंट बताता हूँ माय माय कोर्स गेट टुगेदर वी हैड जो डिप्टी है उधर ही आर कोर्स मेट एंड सो वी डिड वी डिड वन इन 2017 वी कुड नॉट डू ऑन अ 25 सो दिस वाज अ 36 एंड वी डिड इट अगेन दिस ईयर इन 22 लास्ट ईयर इन दिसंबर मैं चार पांच दिसंबर की बात बता रहा हूँ and something that वी हैड बीन वर्किंग ऑन बिहाइंड द सीन्स विद 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 अ फ्यू लाइक माइंडेड पीपल वाज तो ये चलो ये फेज तो निकल गया राइट सेवेंटी एनडीए जो हमारा कोर्स है सेवेंटी एनडीए वॉट इज सेवेंटी एट एनडीए एट दी एंड ऑफ इट वॉट इज इट वॉट वॉट डिफाइन सेवेंटी एनडीए एट एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे वट 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 गुड है डन टू एनी बडी वी हैव लॉस्ट आउट ऑफिसर्स यू नो लेट डाउन देर लाइफ एंड गॉड ब्लेस देर सोल्स फॉर द कंट्री लार्ज नंबर लॉर्ड ऑफ डेकोरेशन लॉर्ड ऑफ सीनियर ऑफिसर्स लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल्स मेजर जनरल्स एडमिरल्स मार्शल्स some uh, maybe tomorrow leading any of these three services etc etc so wo thoda sa abhi bhi rakhte hai aisa mera course rakhta hai bhai hamara isiye tha to they still have a lot of uh, good feeling and then we yeah. have been working for the last almost two years corona ne thoda main piche kar diya that we want to set up a foundation with a purpose in mind not just related to may not may not just be related to forge because forge as it is takes care of its people Uh, yeah, so Arvinder, we got uh, disconnected at a very, you know, hot time. Yeah, but the, we were talking on uh, what the young generation should do. Us pe ab baat kar rahe the communication skills, personality development. So, ab kya advice karoge apni zindagi se? Sir, mere liye to like, main pehle bhi bol raha tha. Life lessons which start from a very early, uh, you know, phase of life are very, very important. It cannot be something pe aaj tum kuch ho, kal kuch aur ho sakte ho. Wo jaake hota hai when you have experience in life. then you can decide no this is not the right way or the wrong way they are that impressionable age jo bachcho ka hai when they are looking to make a career whichever path they have chosen for mm. themselves to wo wo jo couple of things that we talk about in terms of focus and communication i think those for me they we can talk of so many other things but if you look yeah. at the two topmost thing in my particular view i think these are the uh, and and what what further helps in this of course is the ecosystem around you 
is your all support system rather than the ecosystem the support system around your parents friends relatives uh, family you know everything all inclusive mentors teachers everything that is that support system around you which can then ensure that you remain focused on that so focus for me if you have to if i have to list out two uh, things which are most important i would say focus which which is not something which is which you can say that okay fine you need to be focused now it is a, mm. it is a progression it it can yeah be... it's a progression you have to it you is... need good mentors who can guide you you know absolutely sahi waqt pe aapko guidance karne ke liye log chahiye oh bahut zaruri hai sir bilkul zaruri hai you know every generation says bhi nahi aaj ki generation ko ye zyada zaruri hai but i think it is true for every generation everybody needed that guidance the form may have differed but the basics don't and then of course if your life lessons are correct and you and you and you define yourself as to what kind of individual at the end of the day you are going to be and everybody knows their strength and weaknesses aisa to hai nahi but you don't yeah, know exactly. strength and weaknesses it is just how some people can extract those strengths while you know reduce those weaknesses uh, that is i think that is where the difference in so called those alphas and those uh, so called this thing that uh, how you get stamped yeah that makes it, a difference it, where you will reach finally in life and और आप पेडेस्टिन रह जाओगे अगर आप इफ यू डोंट रियलाइज योर पोटेंशियल अगर फोकस नहीं हो है ना फोकस नहीं होगा तो फिर तो बिल्कुल ही कुछ नहीं होगा या लास्ट क्वेश्चन वेयर डज अरविंदर गो फ्रॉम हियर नाउ सीईओ गुजरात टाइटंस आई10 लीग के भी योर सीईओ ऑफ अबू धाबी कहां पे एंड नाउ वेयर डू यू सी योरसेल्फ 5 इयर्स लेटर 5 इयर्स लेटर ऑन द गोल्फ कोर्स सर रियलिस्टिकली सर इट इज आई एम नॉट वन ऑफ दोस हु इज लुकिंग एट i would happily remain involved in what i am doing may not be in a in a you know formal manner of an appointment etc like what i am doing currently but yes you know uh, there's no point in having gained so much of experience you know life has given you so much by having gone through that process and then you say that all right fine i keep it with myself right i don't think i don't know i i don't look at it that way so whatever one would be in a position we were talking of that 70th foundation that i was mm-hmm. about that is all meant and I, my starting point at that time was today uh, half of us are still wearing uniform maybe less uh, two years three years down the line all of us will be wearing cvs right don't forget yes. that what next what is going to then define us as a, as a group is it that goc is there or that uh, you know commandant there or that uh, reemployed officer there is it that is what is going to define 70th course no. no it is going to be what are you going to create and then leave behind so i think that is very important but yes on on i am very very sure that five years down the line definitely not on a on a 9 to 5 kind of a thing car sports is never a 9 to 5 it's it is yeah sports like is passion yeah but it sports is not is passion. I mean, it will not be formal it will certainly not be formal but it will i would still be involved in this and uh, uh, more more time will be spent on the golf course that is a given. great and jo aap bol rahe the na course ka i call this i have for myself I call it personal social responsibility. अब वक्त है यार सोसाइटी को वापस देने का कुछ ना कुछ है ना सो ऑल ऑफ अस ओव समथिंग टू आर यू नो आर विलेजेस आर टाउन्स आर सिटीज आर यूनिट्स आर जवान्स आर नॉर्मल सिटीजेंस ऑफ दिस कंट्री है ना देश ने हमें इतना दिया है True sir, hundred percent, hundred percent. If somebody says that uh, you know one has been able to achieve all this, if everything else was not around you, he would be he or yeah. she would be lying. Hmm. there is no way that any one individual on his own can hmm. say that i have achieved this and this is my achievement hmm. it is never my or his or her achievement it is the hmm. achievement of that whole system and the opportunities and the goodness of people around you that allowed you to get to that stage so that is uh, something and so it is incumbent that in whatever form in whatever form some do more some do less and i'm not talking of in financial terms i'm talking more in terms of sharing and then uh, you know creating the next generation of what what you aspire to be and then have been able to achieve and then how do you uh, uh, you know help others achieve those uh, you know positions so exactly. yes definitely so, that oh, will definitely happens ha to guru gobind singh ka ek shabad mujhe yaad aa gaya aapki baat se ki inhi ki kripa se sajhe hum hai warna mose garib karod pade hai to hum to inki wajah se hum yahan tak pahunche to ab waqt hai 100% 100% sir 100% I I don't want to talk about numbers and all, but yes, there are a lot of uh, boys and girls who are in touch, and you try and help them out, at least guide them, you know, yeah, uh, to whatever extent you can, because it's so heartening to see people reach out, and then you know, and and then then it becomes more of a responsibility on you that an unknown first personality from India, from abroad, is reaching out to you because of having read as to what your credentials 
are it is that much more incumbent on you to be able to you know actually give them the right kind of advice give them the right kind of you know uh, read about what what and how it is all and how do you uh, you know need to work hard to get to a particular stage without that well it, it is uh, you have to be lucky like me otherwise yeah <laughs> no you you've been a tremendous guy this is one of the i really enjoyed talking to you arvinda and hope to someday watch a match of yours uh, when your team is here and meet your players and uh, and share some thoughts with them yes you know, sir, definitely we... the great bunch of guys i told you how we go around uh, looking for players yeah so we never have a we never have a sorry i'm going to take 30 seconds more we never have a must have list when we go to the auction we never go with a must have list but we definitely have a must not have list exactly so free mein bhi aa jayega to hum nahi lenge eq high eq yeah. high eq honi chahiye hai na absolutely sir absolutely so i kabhi team banegi yaar it is team of teams mar liye team is and and we we we've changed the landscape a little bit uh, last year itself that was only from the thought process well it could have gone the other way also but that was not going to change it it may not work out for us in the next season or the next season thereafter but our thought process is very clear what are the steps that we are going to take and what is what are the ethics and uh, you know what is the kind of culture that we are going to go ahead with what is going to characterize gujarat titans how why should you like gujarat titans and not somebody else so uh, this year we are going to be uh, i am going to be cheering for your team because you are there <laughs> thank you so much and you sir. embody nice. a true lessons of leadership and true essence of team building uh, arvinda thank you very much what a pleasure speaking to you bahut maza aaya and whenever this interview is ready i will share the premiere with you no problem sir anytime my pleasure entirely my pleasure always a pleasure interacting with you and once again my apologies for having uh, been a little difficult in terms of setting up the timing for this it just because i have been traveling quite a bit in the last almost a month now i have been in and out sir including outside so hello yeah, thank you very much my pleasure entirely and uh, thank you so much sir thank you so much thank sir thank you jai